Hello, everybody, and people watching this. Uh, I'm here alone right now, and this is an experiment. So if I shut it down all of a sudden, it's because it didn't work. I'm trying to find a way to put some clues out there related to summer wells that also um, protect my own safety as well as um, don't cast aspersions on other people when, you know, psychics information can just be conjecture. And if this doesn't work, then I'll end the stream. <clears throat> so what I did, I did uh, at least like five readings on Summer Wells. She's a missing little girl, five years old, from Tennessee. And she was reported missing. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm not alone. I, this is an experiment. This is random. And I don't know if it'll work or not. And so but I did multiple readings, right? And then I did these map things, but I had to cut so much information out of the readings. I noticed that when this person at Ryan's Finds Truth is his YouTube channel, and he's going around and he says, Donna has like a hundred pins on this map. And that's because I was pinning every single thing that I was seeing or that I could locate. And... um. And then one night I even went and pinned every single train bridge that I could find all over the northern part of the county. I mean, so I've narrowed that down as far as, and I want to play some clips and talk about them because I, d I don't think I ever uploaded anything out of the fifth reading, which was January. And I want to make sure to open my word chart too. Okay, because we have to talk about some things because it, it's like you miss it and you might, might not get the right idea. Um, so I'm going to show you how this reading starts, if it will play. If it won't play, I guess I'll just talk about it. Let's see. Um, let me try to move the other, oh, play these. This is, okay, so here's the first clip. This is how reading five starts. Summer. If you can let me know if you I'm can hear this. I'm seeing, I'm seeing. Can you hear this? It's still in that ravine down there. Like where it's. Tell me if you uh, can hear this. It bottoms out. Oh, so there's like a couple guys there. Let me see. And um, they're just, just putting some dirt over. Can you guys hear what they, that says? They might have put like a hollow log on top of her. Like she might not be in the hollow log. They might have put a hollow log on top of her. Right? That's why if someone was walking in there, they'd probably just walk before it passed. Okay. So the reading started with seeing the, her being buried. And then there was two people and it looked like a ravine to me, like a side, at least side going up. Um, now, so so I saw Dom Tar Park before too. Uh, in all of this, after you know, after my readings and looking it up, going, oh my God, it has that gate, and so did Ryan. But the thing is, and it, it might be wrong, and I might take it back. And so this clip is a little bit longer. This clip, it sounds like the Iron Gate is at the location where, you know, if my visions are accurate, which I hope they're not. But, you know, we all want her to be in some happy home that, you know, we all have this fantasy that maybe that someone just put her in a better place or, um, but it sounds like the Iron Gate might be more related to uh, where she was really, truly harmed. So I'm going to play that for you and then you'll get an idea of that. So I'm seeing going like to this place and they have iron to open it. They have iron gate. They have iron gate. I feel like on the sides of the iron gate is, you know how they'll have a brick. It's kind of decorative. I mean, I guess they could make the iron gate with just a pole, but you know, it's like, you know, the two brick little columns that are, you know, square. so they could be um, cinder block or red brick either way. Yeah, and I got spirit energy on my legs. So I'm seeing the house again. I'm seeing the brick house with the white columns. And now 
I, I drove to the, that funeral home and, um, and I'm feeling like I'm at the funeral home and, and, and I've got very strong chills on my legs. So we were going to the funeral home and I was getting really strong chills on my legs. Um, let's see. I don't know for sure if it's that funeral home, but I feel like it is. Either way, that the, that funeral home is in my third eye right now. Doesn't mean it happened there. It could be because I've looked at it. So it could be that, you know, they're just going to show me that it's not it and stuff like that. But okay, so, but they're showing me it right now. And they're showing, you know, as far as the eye can see on these rolling hills. And it's like, Ooh, I like these rolling hills. Okay, rolling hills. Rolling hills. We're going to roll right off that way. Um, so I think, so I'm going to, if I kept drawing that line to Bent Hill Road like I did, and then I went to that funeral home, and then I feel like I'm supposed to keep going, keep going. So I'm not going to say something one way or another about what I think about the funeral home. I'm just going to keep drawing a line straight through it and keep going further. Um, and I feel like I'm going to cross, keep crossing that line to... Uh, where the state line, um, where you cross the state line. And I don't know that um, Summer went that far away, but she might have. I just, I don't know what the reason is, but I'm just going to draw a line there. And um, she might have been um, somewhere in between that funeral home. And if I drew a line straight out that way, like, look along that line kind of feeling is what I have. Yeah, I got a rise in spirit energy. So I don't have chills. It's not exactly right on. It's, um, okay, so, so that was Hills Distillery as a potential area just to look where there might have been a trade-off. And at the time, I didn't know, but people told me later that that was like a mile and a half away from where Don Wells was working that day. And coincidentally, his coworker, Dudley Ajon, uh, said that one of the places has Ivy in the name. So there was like three different housing projects. Um, so that was real interesting. But here's what I'm saying about the wooden barrel here. I think I'm seeing one of these brewery type things again. I'm seeing inside the brewery. So it's kind of where they serve some beer. Um, they serve uh, or alcohol or something, but they, they do have, it feels like, well, cause they have a keg type. Well, it's not a metal keg. It's like a wooden keg. I saw that before and I got a little spirit energy. I saw that before. So, you know, a wooden barrel that they do that. If you see that line where I keep calling it a hollow log, that he could be laying on top of her or she could be in it, anything like that. Just, it, it's a could be, not a is. Okay, so they've showed me this barrel a, a few times, right? So it's some sort of clue. And like when you look at the clues, they're not all literal. It, was she put in a barrel? Is there a barrel nearby? Is there some, you know some reference to that that's just a clue to keep in mind and then the next one is tennessee hills we're going into this tennessee hills thing again although i'm being directed out past the Eastland, like continuing in a line out that way but it feels like it angles a little more it doesn't go straight from Ben Hill Road to there, but angle a little more towards the corner of the state line. And then, um, but then it went into these rolling hills and then I got this Tennessee Hills again, Tennessee Hills, Tennessee Hills, Burry, Tennessee Hills, Tennessee Hills, something about Tennessee Hills. 
Okay, so I want to check the chart because this is what's happened in all these readings is I've had to cut out so much information. Like, if you think something, I never thought anything could be worse than what I saw happen with uh, Ty Lee Bryan. And it, 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 if this is what I've seen is correct, then it is worse. So, so I'm, so we go from drawing the line to the state, which might be Bristol. She might have originally been brought there at some point, seeing the brewery thing. And then there's one, two people, separate people I talk about. And then I'm seeing the amusement rides in the carousel again. And then they're trying to show me something about the milk jugs in the carousel. And then I see a coffin. Um, so I don't know if it, that's related to the park that has the coffin or not. Then I'm seeing another person. Then I'm seeing another person talking about that person. And after talking about four different people, then I'm seeing what I call the Jack's building. If you ever hear me say that, I'm talking about the Eastman building. Um, the Eastman building uh, is just consider it a landmark. Um, the the he headquarters part where the executives work has, if you look on Google Earth, it they were still building it, but it has a sky bridge, and they put in this statue of a hand holding a bunch of molecules, which in my vision look like jacks that you play with it looked like a statue of jacks like it's that's how we found that building so um let me make sure the sound i didn't press the sound okay so here's about now this gets more into the and the reason i'm telling you in between oh i talked about a bunch of people is so you know that these scenes are separate so here's i eastman I've seen this industrial part of that where the Jacks is and there's a bunch of buildings there and one of them might be the business building and one might be like the industrial part but I'm just seeing it um, and then I was like oh am I seeing the tops of the steamboat Okay, so now why would that be important? Because if you were going along that river and you were looking for a potential place where this could be, or maybe you're up in the hills above that river and you're looking for it and all of a sudden you notice a billboard, right? And it has a picture of a steamboat on it. Or you see a restaurant, it says steamboat. There's just little things like that. Obviously there's no steamboats on that river. Um, and it was interesting because the whole steamboat thing came in even on the first reading. And then we saw in the pictures where Candace took the kids, I think a week or so, week or two before summer disappeared, she took them to Gatlinburg. And there was a, a picture of the kids in the background. There's a pickup truck. There's a, just around a man standing against his pickup truck. And then behind that, there's a, a billboard uh, with a steamboat. So that comes up a lot but it came up here and they're not talking about the gatlinburg trip and it's, it's just like little things like that are just little clues to keep in your mind okay so here's another one still at eastman i can see the jocks building again they're putting the jocks building in front of me and the sky bridge and they're showing me the outside of the building now too okay so let's see the east Bend river i mean let me just check and see if oh yeah okay so so after seeing the jacks person honestly someone works there probably that's involved and there's a lot of people involved though um and then another person and another person so that's there's multiple people involved with all this this is like an organized group of really bad people. Okay, so let's see. Um, and then, yeah, talking about that. I'm talking about that. Oops. Okay, so I'm talking about people again. And then we go to the river again. The river, if you're standing there looking at Eastman. 
So they're just showing me the building. They're showing me the building and they're showing me the building. So if I look at the sky bridge from across the street and just to the right of the sky bridge, the build this building, that silver building, or it's it might be connected to it, or it might be just something I can see from there. If I go on to Google Earth or whatever. Okay, and then what is behind there was that river. Yeah, I got a chill on my leg. A chill on my leg. And um so they're trying to get me at the river, right? We're really back around this building with the jacks. We're we're here. That's where we are. Now I'm going to follow that river or canal. I'm going to follow it upstream. I'm going to follow it. If I'm standing across the street where that river is and I'm looking at that building where the jacks is, and then I go to my left. So I'm follow it to, up to the left. And I got spirit energy there. I follow it up to the left. There's another one. We're really back around this building with the jacks. We're we're here. That's where we are. Now I'm going to follow that it, river or canal. I'm going to follow it upstream. I'm going to follow it. If I'm standing across the street where that river is and I'm looking at that building where the jacks is and then I go to my left. So I'm follow it to, up to the left and I got spirit energy there. I follow it up to the left. Then there's a place up a little ways where there's like a lot of bushes. She could be like in a wooden box there. I've got some spirit energy. Oh, I got a chill on my leg. Okay, so let me just make sure that everyone's still. Let me go to the next one. So these are all separate clips, and there's stuff in between them related to people. I just, I don't feel safe talking. We're going to go on a little boat there so they can show me. Uh, oh, they said they were going to take me on a boat to show me where this was. To me, that makes me wonder. Okay, so that's not psychic. It's me wondering, Are the, is it on a little island? Why they need to take me on a boat? Or is it just that they're showing me to go up the river? So you can just keep both in mind about that. And then about uh, her body. I, I do feel like her body was moved. It's really weird. It's like one time I saw her buried under the dirt and at the building though, at the building or a building um, could be out in the barn, you know, it could be, but it was indoors in dirt. And then it's, I didn't see them do her up, but I saw, um, okay, so so it's like a, I, after this, what I saw was horrible, and many people came to watch, or at least some people came to watch. I saw three main people that were kind of running the show, and I saw a few people come to watch, people that have, you know, probably power, and... Uh, um, okay. So anyways, at that point I saw her buried just like temporarily, I think, um, because it, it was indoors, but then later I saw her buried outdoors. Let's see. I, I do feel like her body was moved. It's really weird. It's like one time I saw her buried under the dirt and at the building though at the building or a building um, could be out in the barn, you know, it could be, but it was indoors in dirt. And then it's, I didn't see them dig her up, but I saw um, that spirit energy. I just then saw her body in a different place. 
So it's like, you you know, then you just fill in the blanks, like would they undig it? Oh, like put it there for a while till they get a chance to deal with it or something, dispose of it properly or whatever. Okay, so then I, then, um in the in the reading was like an hour long it goes on and on about like you know graphically what i saw and which i i can't even put on here and i i'm kind of afraid to but um here's some more clues about the location is i'm seeing these loading docks and the loading docks are directly across i believe directly across the river from there's the headquarters of Eastman and then there's the river and the, the river goes splits off two ways and there's a bunch of loading docks and train things. And I'm going to try to get the map on here. Otherwise, I just uploaded yeah, one. anyway. But it's like near the office building and then I'm seeing one where it's like loading docks and the river across from the loading docks. I don't see any river being there. So I'm confused. That's okay. But I am seeing comments, a lot of bushes. Okay, let's see. This is about. I'm back by the river across from the loading docks that are closest to the airport. If the airport's on the other side of the river, but you know, I it's not right there. But I see it like from the river and I see it from those loading docks. Okay, so I'm there again. I'm going, really going to where there's some big interchange in the freeway. Um, where you cross the border. And see that? I'm talking about the loading docks and then I'm just switched right over into uh, going up by the border, which is, I think, when she was alive at some point, she was brought up near Bristol. Um, but that's not where she ended up. It doesn't sound like. So, um, okay. Let me see. But, but, but like at an angle towards towards the tip of the state into this area. And I got chills on my summer alive when she was brought there. So I feel like summer was brought in that direction. And um, she looks scared like she does not know who these people are. Okay, so that's something to know, too, is um whoever facilitated all this whoever took part along this chain of events at some point she's with strangers she does not know them right she's terrified she was terrified uh these people she didn't know them. and you know what they didn't even refer to her as a person they called her the package i it, it's that bad it's disgusting it's there's some disgusting sick pigs who are in our society who, have, who are not just the lowlifes we know about, but they are people that have respect of others, people that have college degrees, people that have worked hard, and they enjoy watching little children be slaughtered. And I'm halfway tempted to just, but I think it would come back on me. So um, here, let's see what else I said right here. She has a little teddy bear with her. Or at least right now, as I see her in spirit, it could be. Um, seems like there's a, a lot of people coming in. And then before, something I didn't put up to was seem like a few people. For real. Yeah. The stuff that you don't even know if it's real, it's real. It's real. Apparently. I wouldn't have thought that. I would have never thought anything could be worse than Tylee Ryan and something is worse. If that's what I saw was true, it's worse than that. It's worse than we already know. But here's locations again. Here's another one for location. Makes me feel like crying. I just I've seen a wall. There's a brick wall or something. Uh, tumble down. It's like uh, not where people normally walk. Because um, they were able to roll the, I mean, you know, 
whether it's a box or a barrel or whatever it's this is about the location of the remains barrel along the track where the boat goes and then there's a bridge coming up a big bridge this is just about a helicopter but you want to get it i've seen sense. a helicopter and a helicopter goes down anyways okay and then here's one more about location this is the last one then i'm going to see if i can get the map and if not i'll just see if there's any questions overpass i'm seeing the overpass but i'm seeing the underneath part of the overpass again okay so what's going on is in that reading it goes back and forth between showing me clues about the location showing me uh, murder so graphic that I had nightmares for eight straight days. Now, I couldn't even barely uh, emotionally function for about a week. And because I'm seeing this Ryan guy go actually look, I, I listened to it again. Um, let's see if I can. Um, it just doesn't seem to work for me. I want to play these maps for you. The bottom line, I uploaded a map, okay, like 10 minutes ago. So the other three or the other two maps have things that happened all during this crime. Thank you, Cece. Um, they have things that happened all during this. And this map I uploaded like 10 minutes ago because I can't. You know, I am just not good with these electronic programs. I wish I had help. Um, but you can go back and look at that. And I would start. There's a train, like, a, there's a train bridge that's not even being used that has a chain link fence in front of it, but it doesn't say no trespassing. And it's in that. Um, map video i just uploaded 10 minutes ago i would start there i would go along that river i would look on every island every single island um they probably took like a hollow log or something and moved it over on there but then again you have to remember anything could be a name so what if something's a name and then on the map i just put up which is really interesting. That one train bridge that's not being used is right next to a little cemetery. It's called Light Cemetery. And then, um, oh, then there's a road that just goes up from that and through Bays Mountain, and it's called Horse Something. Like, so if I was there, that's not psychic to say where she is because all this is just applied. There, there's the reading. There's clips from the reading. But um, I can hardly think. I'm so sorry. I'm just so sorry. Like, it makes me so mad. And, you know, before I looked on the FBI, I looked on the FBI uh, website where you could submit a tip, but it didn't even look like the FBI was in on this case. And let's get real. Have you ever seen a case like this where the FBI wasn't asked to help? I don't even think she's on the FBI website. The FBI, as far as I know, has not been called in. You might want to ask yourself that. Why? Uh, oh, yeah. Darren, he's the money. Darren's the money man. Oh, yeah. I see all those people. I don't know who he is, but I know I know who a couple of them are. I know a few of them. It just makes me sick. It makes me sick. I, I, I'm sorry for flipping out. I know I'm just going to have to hang up and cut that out. But um, I'm just going to pray and then probably um, try to get out of the house for a minute. So I just did this so that Ryan could 
uh, try to get some ideas from that. And I have, um, I'm just going to pray. So dear God, I pray that you expose this evil. I expose it to the top, expose it all the way back to where it comes from. Please expose the evil that would take innocent children and expose the people who would enjoy inflicting trauma and murder. You know, do you think there's anything worse in the whole planet than hurting children? I I don't think there's anything worse. I don't think there's anything worse than harming children. And, um... I just pray for Summer. I I pray for her soul. I pray that she's surrounded by angels. And I just pray that these people, whether they just get their karma, I pray regardless of what happens, if it means falling down on their face, if it means being exposed, I just pray that they just get what's coming to them. I pray that they're exposed. Um. But what I'll say is, think of the highest levels of disgusting, the highest levels of things that you would think. You see, see when they do this, the trauma in the blood, and you've heard about that, and then there's um, the, 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 the fresh blood from the protein helps the demonics. It it will help anyone, but it it helps the spirit side manifest stronger. And uh, they have all these rituals around this. And uh, that's what's occurred here with the people that are, and where I would start is probably directly across the street from the loading docks for Eastman, which are on that island. And I just uploaded a video like 10 minutes before I started this. I wanted to put these on here. I couldn't figure it out. It doesn't seem to work for me. Is there no sound again? Oh, hopefully there's no sound when I was swearing. Okay, anyways. Um, hopefully there's some other people out there along Kingsport that can go uh, look with Ryan. And uh, see if they can find anything. Let's see. Yeah, that's the problem. I, I That's the problem. I don't even know if the FBI has the power to stop this. I don't know. It's, it's one of these things where you think, does this really exist? You know, if you ever hear about these things, does this really exist? Come on, does this really exist? Apparently it does. And... Uh, yeah, Rhonda, is, she see, Rhonda says you can't keep the FBI from being involved, but I think there's actually a protocol where local law enforcement has to ask them or it has to be a, a kidnapping and they have to, you know, have proof that she was taken across state lines. Um, I think, I don't know either. I just know I went to submit a tip before and uh, Summer wasn't even on their website. I would go looking along that river. That's what I would do. I hope that helped. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of went off the edge a little bit. Um, but the FB card team was involved. I don't know. How can we get... he The Ryan guy, he has his own channel. It's called uh, Brian Seeks Truth, I believe. There he is. Brian finds truth. Brian finds truth. So he's living over there and he's going around looking. So I'd recommend going on a boat. You know what would be a good idea before you even spend too much time looking in one individual place? Go on a boat along that river. Oh, I was going to show you guys something. Hang on. Okay, so if you're not like an expert, right, if you're not like some experts, like, like I would go there and see if I started getting chills or if I started getting visions, being in some areas, what I would do. And then I was telling Ryan on the phone 
about these. And he said they have some because people use them to get water, right? They're divining rods for water. But you can hold them level and then say, show me, show me a yes. Okay, so they go out. Show me a no. They're not doing it. Show me a no. <laughs> Anyways, on mine, it crosses when it's a no. And I would bring them with me and just, you know, occasionally pull them out and just say, you know, is, is Summer's remains within a mile of that river or are, are they along the river? You know, like that. And bring them with you. These only cost um, $15 on Amazon. And it's really good because it, it, it is a, it, you hold them because it's using your energy too. And the spirits put their energy on it and they can actually guide you. $15 on Amazon. I, I would do this searching for anyone. I, even me, I would still bring something like this along. So I wanted to show you guys those. Those are called divining rods. Let's see if there's any questions. Oh, my goodness. No, I don't think DW buried her in the shed. See, the thing is, is jurisdiction, the level of people. Some people even coming from out of state to watch. People who have went up to the Ivy League schools for their education. That's the kind of people who came to be in the audience. Now, that's not the kind of people who arranged the cell or, you know, originally their plan was to put her in a catalog and traffic her for a few years. But when it became high profile and then her photo was everywhere, then they decided to use her for that, which they did. If, if, what I saw was correct, okay? So what I would do is they keep bringing me to that river. And I see, look, I, I keep trying to make this work. Nothing happens. I don't know why nothing happens. Um, but again, I just uploaded a video right before I did this. It's a map video that kind of shows an idea of where I would start looking and hopefully that'll keep everyone trying to find busy for a while. And, um, let's see. <laughs> I'd lost it. You know, fortunately when I listened to this reading again, there's like minutes going by where all I'm doing is going, oh, my God, oh, my God, pure evil. Oh, my God. Like, I'm freaking out. I freaked out. I had I had such bad nightmares the first four days. I was waking up, kicking my um, blankets off the bed. It was that bad. And so we can only pray for summer. And hopefully that one day these people are exposed and held accountable. And let's see if there's anything I didn't answer. Yeah, they sp there's. it's weird how yeah, people who are evil, you know, we were growing up and they said, oh, be good person. Good people always win. And it's good people always get to the top in the end. It's like, no, they don't. Apparently the sociopaths do, the psychopaths do. Maybe some good people do, but. Definitely not the ones that got a hold of Summer. Um, I didn't get anything about her birth one way or another. Um, also, someone here mentioned about a lie detector. Just so you know, if you want to look at it, and this is Tennessee too, I believe, is the little baby. I have a reading I did of a little baby that was missing, like a year and a half old baby. And the mom went on the news and she was telling people she passed the lie detector test. The police never contradicted her because they wanted to let her just lie and lie and lie and lie. I guess that's why. Um, so 
Candace and Don could come on here and say, I'll keep continually say they passed and having not passed, I'm not saying they didn't. I'm just saying what comes out of their mouth means diddly squat. The police have to have evidence. So the police could know. The police could know what happened, but if they don't have physical evidence, all they can do is keep watching and hoping maybe that the remains are found, um, that kind of thing. Does Chris McDonough know what I've seen? Well, he doesn't, he doesn't know, he doesn't know the stuff that I'm barely telling you. <laughs> I have tried not to talk about it. I mean, that's why this is literally why I shut down on this case was um, the people I saw involved. I, I just don't know how they, they would all ever get arrested. I don't think they would ever get arrested. And maybe they'll find the remains and arrest a couple of the lowlifes um, to take the blame. Yeah, <laughs> so CM doesn't acknowledge Miss Donna. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Yeah, baby Evelyn, baby, little baby. God, you know, when I saw that little baby and it's like, she reminded me of Nicole and I was like, I would do anything to have that little baby for a granddaughter. Like that girl didn't need to get rid of her. She could have just gave her to half of us would have took her. Um, yeah, Candace and Dawn, they're, they're their own level, but there's even people that are uh, I mean, Candace and Dawn grew up this way, right? They grew up. I don't know that Candace ever knew anything different. Um, and th and they're definitely doing themselves in. It lo looks like at a rapid pace. But there's people higher up and more educated that should know better. And, and, and they're evil. Evil people. Absolutely evil people. Let's see. Let's see. You know, the FBI may be investigating who really knows, but it's, they don't have her on their website. That's all I know. Because you could submit a tip. Usually if I have a load of reading, I kind of try to make a loose transcript and I put it to whatever law enforcement, whatever FBI, they don't even have somewhere on their database. So is the audio muted again? No. Oh. Why do I think they cut her hair? You know, lice is a problem, and even if you keep your house clean, I mean, their house was a mess, which means they probably, if they did get lice, it got on everything. But even if you're the cleanest of the clean, I remember up in in, up in Seattle the the lice. Um, I don't. I think we did. We we um, shaved under of our hair, so it you know it's plausible. It's plausible that it's unrelated, but you never know. I don't know why they did that. Um, I'm just looking for questions, if there's any questions. I, I know, you know how to get rid of lice? You know what we did? Because the lice shampoo wasn't working when I had my daughter and my niece and they were young. We put Vaseline on our hair, like really thick and just left it there to try to, and it worked. It worked, it killed them because they couldn't breathe. Okay, so let's see. So now you learned something besides um, this. Oh yeah, okay, I'll put a link to Ryan's channel in the, or someone can put a link to Ryan's channel in here, in here if they want to, and I'll put it in the um, description as well. And I know there was uh, one or two other people that were like constantly looking, it'd be pretty cool if you guys could hook up because it's kind of a big job. Did the parents? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think uh, they got rid of her on purpose. I don't think they, I think, I don't think they actually knew the result, but I don't think that at least one of them didn't even care what the result was. Just want to get rid of her. Um, yeah, that there's a dump out there past all that. Uh Oh yeah, hi Starlight. You know, it's just Don Wells gets super mad when I talk about them. But you could go on. There's another YouTube channel called Sweetie Pilo. 
true crime. The lady is Lauren. And I really think she's one of the classiest people in the true crime kind of genre. And it's so it's Sweetie and then Pilo, P I E L O. It's like two words, Sweetie and Pilo. The first two readings I did are on her channel. And they, they, they go into graphic detail as to how this all went down. So this reading is six months later where it's really focused on where her remains are and what happened. And, you know, yeah, someone needs to care. Someone needs to care. No, I do not think she was directly handed off to the end buyers. I think she was, there was an arrangement made. So you have that person who helped with the arrangement. There was a transfer, right? So you have that person. Um, th there's a person coordinating it all. And then of when I saw her uh, murdered, which, ho you know, hopefully is all just imagination. But when I saw her murdered, um, there was three people actively taking part. There was the Darren character. who He's the money guy paying for things. And he was kind of just standing there watching. And then there was a camera guy. And then there was a guy they when they put her on the table and in the belly. And then it got worse from it just it was just it was it's horrific. It's horrific what I saw. So um, I mean, if you've listened to my readings on Lori Valla and you know how just horrific those were, this is even worse. Like I remember when I did this thinking. Um, there really couldn't be anything worse than this with Tylee. Like, even in my imagination, I could have never imagined what happened to Tylee. And then I see this with Summer is even worse. It's worse. So, uh, yeah, Summer was a, she was, she was harmed until she, yeah, yeah, they weren't nice about it. You see, because to get to release the, adrenochrome in the blood, they have to torture them to death. You get it? They're not going to drug them and do this peaceful little thing. I mean, this is the thing. The type of people who do this, they're not trying to be nice. Same as with JJ. People are like, oh, they must have had mercy and drugged him. No. Lori's a mean, evil demon. Um, they, they're not nice at all. None of them are. And... They're real sick. They're very, 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 very sick people. Do I think it will be solved? So when you say solved, solved means figure out. Um, that's the only thing solved means. It's really a misused word. But I would say, do I think the people at the highest levels who came to watch and take part will be arrested? No, I don't. I think there's literally no hope almost. Um, I don't. I, I think there's literally no hope. Probably higher than the FBI. Probably more powerful than the FBI, really. Uh, you know, I don't know. But some of them aren't. Maybe some people will get arrested. But trust me, when if that happens, that it goes way higher than that. I think somebody at the church that went to the church was involved. I don't think the church is involved. I don't think all the people there are involved. But yeah. I think somebody who went there was involved, yeah. Muted. It, it says it's working. Can you guys hear my audio? There. Oh, yeah, you, you might have muted yourself. Um, see, these individual people get upset when I talk to them, talk about them. But just he kind of did this because I saw this Ryan actually taking it seriously and going and looking. So I, I want to get him, you know, I, it, Dom Tar Park is absolutely worth looking at, especially since it's a big overpass it goes. But so is to go all the way down by directly in front of Eastman and oh, directly in front of the... Uh, um, Loading docks and then working your way up the river that way. 
if any of you out there watching this like have cars, maybe you could contact him. He probably has his email up there somewhere. And uh, he, he might be able to find her. And so if, you know, if, if more clues are needed, I did go through, like I put some of the other readings onto PDF and I read them and stuff, but it's so stunning that it's like, how do you remember? So last night I just took this one reading and I made a chart, you know, so I could point out, okay, now I'm veering away and, and talking about, you know, all the people for a minute. Then I'm going to this scene. So you could see that the scenes are not connected to each other. That just They just went back and forth through the whole raid and they're showing me stuff that happens and they're showing me this, you know, then her being put there and then they're showing me what happens and like that. Oh, yeah, I have. We actually talked on the phone. Yeah. Oh, will Summer be found? I don't know. In that other reading, um, they showed me someone being arrested leading the, the police to her remains. And, you know, I hope that Ryan can find her. And... Um, yeah, I, I can't even think. I can't even think anymore. Do you remember on Suzanne Morphew, like three years ago, I said if she's ever found, it will be an accident. She's a mother in uh, Colorado who went missing. And then they found her body and they claimed it was an accident. Like, I don't really believe that, but they claimed it was an accident. So you never know. Three years later, you never know. Yeah, I mean, I'd given all, all but given up hope on her. And sure enough, they find her. And she's by this crazy looking tree, just like I said. So, you know, I just hope that they do. Do I think people that are, I think that if I went there and people knew I was there, I'd end up dead. Literally. That's really what I think. I think it'd be extremely dangerous. And later I want to set up a nonprofit, but I don't have it up now, so don't worry about it. But where I can f go in, I can go in before they really know I'm there, you know, and try to get all the information I can get and get out safely before they're aware of me. Yeah. Oh, no, they're extremely dangerous. And, and you're dealing with a whole group of people. You're dealing with a whole group that leads to a whole network, a whole underground of really sick, sick, sick people. The sickest, most evil people in our entire society. That's that's what you're dealing with here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ziggy. Um, if they if they think if they think you're not onto something, they won't do anything. But if they think you're onto something, it, it is definitely a risk. Now with Ryan, I'm not. I don't think so necessarily because he's just looking for the remains. It's not like he's, you know, knocking on doors and trying to get people arrested and doing this and doing that. But I think with everything I've put out there, if I were to fly into Hawkins County and um, they were aware I was there, I think I would probably get killed. Very likely. So. Yeah, definite conceal. Yeah, I agree. At the least, definitely. So I'm going to let you guys go, but if you want to see what I'm talking about, about where to look around, along the river and stuff, just right before I did this live stream, I uploaded that video. So, and I'm sorry for like losing it. <laughs> I have to go. Oh my God. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for that. I'm trying to not do that. Um, let's see. Don, you know, Don Wells, the thing about him, whether he believes in psychics, and I've heard him say stuff negative about me, but then at the same time, he at the same time, he was texting with me. So for two months, I would send him photos because people would send me photos of people in the mail and, or in the email. And I would say, what do you think about this person? What do you think about that person? What do you think about this? And we had some, a, a few good conversations. So, 
I think it's interesting that he does that. And one thing he told me, and if you listen to the first 12 minute reading, which will be super accurate because I didn't know anything about the case. And I just looked at her picture and then went in my room and started um, praying and asking for the visions. And um, he told, so in there, it, it's clear we're talking about Gatlinburg. Um, at, this was the place where the man was looking at her to see if he wanted to purchase. And then he told me she, that Candace took the kids up there like a week and a half before, I think. And then he, he, and then I was asking about this carousel. We're assuming it's the carousel in Kingsport. You know, I don't know for sure, but um, I asked Don Wells about that. And Don Wells told me that one day or two days before summer went missing, it was Saturday or Sunday. Uh, he said that probably Saturday, but he said that, Candace told him she was going to go to garage sales, take the kids to garage sales. And he said she knew he wouldn't go because he doesn't like garage sales. So she was gone the entire day. She came back around dinner time. Thank you, white crime. Um, she came back around dinner time and she said she had also taken the kids fishing. So just a day or two before Candace went missing, she was gone with the kids the entire day or most of the day. So Don Wells is the one who confirmed, you know, my first reading for me, which I, I find really interesting. Yeah. So anyways, okay, I'm going to let you go and just purse be with you guys. And I hope that, um, you know, you guys give a hug to all the people you love and keep an eye on your children. And and um, I'm going to be here a lot more. And I have a lot of work to do to catch up. So you guys take care, okay? I'll talk to you later. All right.